I don't really know. I don't understand them anyway. So, I mean, if I do understand them, I just ignore them anyway. He just goes on and on. It's usually him and Bruce who are having a few moans, but just ignore them and get on with the game. We have had a, a few humdingers, but um, it's because I live next door to him, you see. Uh, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's his way of keeping concentrating, and I suppose it's mine as well. I mean, I've, I've always been like it. But I seem to have this, this thing with goalkeepers, you know, I think they had it with Les Seeley as well. So uh, it must be just the goalkeepers were saying, that's what I blame it on. When you've got somebody that big and, and that daunting sort of behind you shouting, you, you, you are going to take notice of him, like, you know. Do you ever answer him back? No, no, no chance. <laughs> well, I think, as we say, that the energy he has, because he's not outfield, is he? Thank God he's not outfield, by the way. I've seen him there, he's not that great. <laughs> I've told him to go back in the goal. He, he, he insists on playing up front in the little games. He's yet to score a goal this year. In fairness, the back four have been weaned on crazy keepers. You rarely got the better of Les Seely in a war of words. And if they say you've got to be mad to be a keeper, then Seely and Schmeichel are pretty individualistic, to say the least. Two great characters, two great keepers. Pity only one can play. I am. He's so good. <laughs> It is a bit of a problem, but Seeley still remains a vital member of the squad, a player that Alex Ferguson admires not just for his goalkeeping prowess. You do everything you should do except play the game, because if you don't, and you have to play one time and you're not ready, and you, and you make a mess up at this club, which has been done plenty of times before when people have been thrown into situations, they, you'll end up making the tee, you won't play, and you won't even be remembered. So I can't afford to, if I have to go in one time and make a mistake, and they lose as all important games are now, are always to Manchester United, uh, I won't be remembered. I mean, I just, I'll, I'll be like uh, parking the cars. Do you know what I mean? And I don't want to park the cars. I quite like playing football. Seeley's a lucky charm. In two spells at United, he's not put a foot wrong. His enthusiasm has turned him into a folk hero. So, is it a coincidence that the trophies start coming when Seeley rolls into town? Yeah, it seems to be. I mean, I think, you know, they, they touch me for luck. And, I think people are, are, are now frightened of me leaving, I mean, because, <laughs> but no, I, I think it's a case of, if you, if you believe in that sort of thing, yeah, it's, it's, it's funny, isn't it? Goalkeeping coach Alan Hodgkinson monitors the fitness routines. Seeley's in Schmeichel's shadow, but he has to be fit. Les works very, very hard, as you can see, and he's a great, he's a great example to youngsters. I mean, uh, Les is now well over 30, and uh, all credit to Les Seeley. Uh, in uh, respect that he works hard, he works hard at his game, and a great example, and a, a true Manchester United professional. Click, 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 did you get that one? Come on, work, work. Well done, lads, better. Yes. Well done, and one to go, win me the game. Win me the game. Well done. Everybody thinks golfing is really easy. Everybody thinks it's really, really easy. Look at me, look at, just look at me, look. Look, would I rather be a plumber? Would I rather be an electrician? 